Welcome to this episode. My name is Dr. Lucy of the Eye Clinic channel. In this channel, we teach you on high health, what you can do and where you can get help. We post a short video every Tuesday, so subscribe, listen and learn. In this episode, you will learn about keratoconus, but first let me tell you a few facts about the cornea from which we get the keratoconus condition. The cornea is a tough front covering of the eye and is about 550 micrometers, that is slightly more than half a millimeter thick on average. Apparently, Africans tend to have thinner corners than Caucasians and this comes with some complications that we will discuss later. The cornea print is also like a fingerprint and is completely uniquely individual. The cornea is colorless but appears different due to the color of the underlying iris. If your iris is dark brown or blue, the cornea takes the brown or blue color. But did you know that you can change the appearance of your eyes by putting contact lenses with different colors? Yes, you can. The cornea is smooth and spherical in shape and ensures that rays of light are smoothly focused at the back of the eye which is called the retina so that we can see clearly. Keratoconus therefore happens when the cornea thins and begins to bulge like a cone and that is why it is called keratoconus. What this means is that uh, rays of light cannot be focused on the retina and things seem blurry and the person will complain of not seeing well. Initially, glasses may seem to improve the vision, but as time goes on, glasses will really not help. A person with keratoconus may change glasses every few months with no improvement. This is very typical of keratoconus. One of the major causes of keratoconus is continuous itching, especially caused by allergic conjunctivitis. Itchiness causes small tears on the cornea, and as these tears heal, the cornea becomes weak, thins and slowly changes the shape from the spherical to a conical hence the name keratoconus. Allergy is quite common and is one of the major causes of the itchiness and about 20 to 40 percent of the population is allergic to one thing or another. That means in a group of 10, two to four people will be allergic to one thing or the other. Other causes of keratoconus include hereditary and trauma. So progressively decreasing near vision in a person who has had allergic conjunctivitis or itchiness for long is a clue that uh, they may be having keratoconus. They will complain of distorted vision, what we refer to as astigmatism, sometimes glare, and sensitivity to light. Changing of uh, glasses every so often are some clues that can inform you that there is a problem. Even when a child does not complain of poor vision, as a parent, you need to be concerned if they are continually itching. Keratoconus has been diagnosed as early as even before teens. And there are tests in the doctor's office, including vision testing and others to objectively make that diagnosis. To prevent keratoconus, therefore, we must manage allergy in good time. The most important is to know what causes the allergy or that of your child and stop eating or contact with such specific material or food. Allergy testing is crucial and we will review what one is allergic to and this service is available in some allergy clinics. I will include a link below on a video that we did on allergic conjunctivitis and you can check it out. Once a diagnosis has been made, the doctor will decide then the best form of treatment. For some, in the early stages of the condition, different types of contact lenses will help to modify the cornea shape. For others, it will be prosthetic lenses and for others, intacts. That is, uh, some corneal inserts that shape, uh, change the shape of the cornea. If the cornea shape cannot be improved with this, then surgery becomes a final option and there are various forms of surgery from cross-linking to keratoplasty to corneal transplants, of course, with varying results. So that concludes today's episode on keratoconus. Remember, timely treatment of allergy will prevent this keratoconus, which is expensive, hard to treat, and robs a person of a good quality of life. Eye checkup is a sure way of knowing where you are. Get it at your earliest convenience, and if you have questions or comments, do write down here and we will get back to you. 
so thank you for watching as i said we do post a short video every tuesday to teach you on eye diseases and eye conditions and where you can get help remember to subscribe so that you can get alerts every time that we upload till next tuesday stay safe